Hi everybody, welcome back to the Gigi and Ollie show. Today it's just going to be Gigi and I'm going to do my Little Debbie Moon Pie General Store haul. Not much, just some little odds and ends for everybody. Um, first off, Little Debbie's main store is in College Dale, that's where they're all made. College Dale, Tennessee. And I went in there hoping to see the last two ladies who I had met several times before. But they were not there because I knew they would tell me what's going on with the inflatable yard decoration Christmas inflatable snack cakes to put out in the front yard. That my sister had found online, sent me a picture, and she's like, I don't know what store this is taken from. And I zoomed it in, and I'm like, oh my god, that's a little Debbie store in College Dale. I'm going straight there. So, I looked for a lot of bare shelves, which is not normal of them. Like coffee mugs and all that, wiped out. So, I asked one lady, she's not no help at all, which is very rare, because they're normally over-friendly. So, when I got in line to pay, I asked the younger girl, about the inflatables and she said we will not absolutely be getting any more of them they were a promote they were sent to them as a prom promotional item for the employees and families and they didn't know that so they sold them and they sold instantly so some of the employees didn't get any and I didn't get any so that's that I tried guys so there, my sister wanted more ink pens and magnets. So I grabbed her these two shiny red Little Debbie ink pens. And their ink pens are really good quality. And I can't remember the prices of everything and I can't find the receipt. And I did not get a receipt for the Moon Pie General Store because their system is so slow and I was not waiting that long for it. And then the lady said she forgot to give it to me anyway, so I was like, whatever. And then, I thought these were different, but they're not. Three of the Drake's Snack Cake Ink Pens. Drake's is another, like, subsidiary or whatever the word is, company of Little Deb. So, Drake Ink Pens, Little Debbie Ink Pens. I'm going to take these two in a little bit because tonight is Ollie's Christmas program for school. So, we're all going to that. Um, a little de I got also got her a little Debbie eyeglass cleaner cloth stuff. It says a little Debbie. I've never seen those there before. Everything else was identical, the same what they had. A Drake's magnet with their little mascot of the duck. We don't get any Drake's products here, and there's a lot of little Debbie products we don't get here. Cause my favorite little Debbie product, one of them is. Um, they're called jellyfish cookies, I believe. I'd never heard of them in my life till about five or six years ago when I was down there. And they're marshmallow and all that kind of, which I love marshmallow. Um, yeah, they don't have those, or they didn't have any. I was thinking maybe it's a summer item. I don't know. I don't know, but they didn't have any. I looked. This little Debbie magnet. These are the only kind of magnets they have. The real thin little ones, they don't have anything ceramic or fancy. Just the plain old little magnets with the little oatmeal cream pie on there. I believe that's what he is. He's cute. And the price Swiss cake roll. That's what it is. And then a magnet of little Debbie herself when she was a child. There she is. And I thought I made the mistake, but I believe Christopher did. I know Christopher did. But he did eat some of these. He loves, his favorite when we go down there is devil dogs. And you can't, we can't find those anywhere here. I believe they're made by Drake's, but I'm not sure. He, they were right next to the devil creams. So I don't know if he, ex, he accidentally grabbed devil creams. I know I didn't because I had nothing to do with the devil dogs because I don't need them. So he got two of these that I forgot to give to him when we dropped him off Friday night. But they're fine. Um, the Devil Dogs, I believe, the only difference is they're dipped in chocolate. So, somebody will eat them. And um, it used to be two when you were down there and you purchased something. They'd always reach under the counter and give you a free box, a full free size 
like a full size box of something. Um, in the past few years, they were still doing that. Well, I noticed when we went down in was it July? Got my mind. I'm s still not right. Maybe July when we went down. I can't remember. Yeah, July. I noticed they didn't do that anymore, but they do have a little tray sitting on the counter to take free items, free snack cakes. Take them. You want them. And they restock it as... I mean, I wouldn't take them all, but you grab a couple, you're fine. But they did have a devil dog laying there for free, and I do know Christopher grabbed that and ate it. Um, the only request I had... Nobody else wanted any because I'd gotten so many the last couple times I've been down there for everybody. Um, Hannah and Ali did request the peanut butter cream pies. I did find two great big boxes of those. And the good thing, these happen to be manager special that day. This one has been opened already. Well, let me see. These are not dipped in chocolate, I'm sure. Gosh, they keep getting littler and littler, don't they? There's the little devil cream. I see no cream. <laughs> there it is, because it's not dipped in chocolate. Where is the cream? Wow. There is cream. It sure don't look like the picture, does it? <laughs> Come on, Debbie. And then the oatmeal cream pies, we cannot find here at all. And Ollie and Hannah love them. There's those. Of course, we have the oatmeal cream pies, but this is a special treat when I go down there and get these. So I got two boxes of those. And grabbed Christopher the for the road, but he didn't even open them. The little Debbie mini powdered donuts. My mind went blank. Those. We also got a bag of chocolate ones. They're gone. I do not like the chocolate ones at all. I don't like their chocolate, um, except for a couple items because it's different. Some of it feels like greasy in my mouth, like generic chocolate does. I don't know how else to describe it. Coats my mouth, but then the nutty bars, their chocolate on those are different. It's not like a glaze or whatever. They're glaze like they put on those donuts and stuff I don't care for. Any brand. It doesn't just have to be Little Debbie Hostess. Any of them. And I bought myself broke down and bought myself this bag because I always say I'm going to get one. Of course, last time I believe it was $3. This time it was 5 But it's a cloth reusable bag so I got it because I use these bags all the time. Now for the Moon Pie General Store <coughs> First off, y'all know we get the Moon Pies at um, Dollar Tree, which I buy them sometimes. I'm not a big fan of them, to be honest. Even though I love everything in them, I I don't know why. I wish the cookie was crunchy. That's what I don't like. I wouldn't the cookie to be crunchy, and I think I'd love them. It's too soft or stale feeling to me. But the difference in getting them in Chattanooga than getting them in wherever else you live, oh my God, the squishiness is completely different so fresh let's see here my mom's request was just one big original chalk I mean it's so squishy if I go get one at Dollar Tree right now you don't feel that mom just wanted one big original chocolate moon pie this store oh my god if I ever win the lottery I'm going in there because it is high priced there's so much you can't even see it all. Every time you turn your head. They have old-fashioned candy. They make treats right there. They do, oh, saltwater taffy, t-shirts, stuffed, everything. Every, but no ink pens. I couldn't believe it. I was shocked at no ink pens. I didn't get any because I thought, I, I didn't think anybody would like it. I thought my sister might, but I called her and she did not want it. She said, absolutely not. At Christmas time down there, I've never seen them at our dollar or any dollar treat I go to. They have limited edition mint chocolate moon pies. I did not get any of those. I got one original. I've never heard of these moon pies. And I looked, you can go online, Moon Pie General Store, and it will say shop now. And you won't believe some of the flavors and stuff they have that you can only get there. But they have these out for a very limited time. And the lady said, now see, I can tell this isn't as fresh as that one. Wow. Um, coconut. Never in my life. See, when I was younger, banana was my favorite. But I, um, there wasn't that many at all. You could get a box, I think that was 5 or $7, or little singles. 
So I grabbed some old singles. Three of them. I want my mom to try one. I'm gonna... Dad wouldn't... And Dad love... Oh, shit. This is the one I crumbled up on accident because I sat on it in the truck. But I've got to try this. I've been dying to try this with you guys. Because you know I love coconut. Dad loves coconut, too, but, um... My goodness, Amy. Got crumbs everywhere. But he said no. He didn't want it. It's a mess. I like it better than the chocolate ones. I like it better than the banana ones. Mmm. Yeah. Would I get it again? No. It's that cookie. I, when I was little, the cookie didn't bother me. I don't like that cookie texture no more. Mmm. Then, I sure got food on my face. Goo Goo Clusters. Love, love, love. They only had three kinds. They are now the size of a half dollar. They used to be like this and didn't even cost near a dollar. That's how big it is now. Here's the package. That little, it's that big. $2.49. But I haven't had one, excuse me, had one in years and I love Goo Goo Clusters. I did not bother getting the original. I got pecan and I got peanut butter. Yeah, $2.49. This is one of my favorite candies. I I forgot about them. I haven't had them. Because our Dollar General had them years and years and years. And one day they just stopped. But yep. They went down to less than half the size they used to be. And like almost three times in price. So. Thank you for that. Next. There was only one left. And I hope my sister don't get mad. But I have to have it. The little moon pie. I have no idea how much this was. I but I think it was five bucks to be honest. This little bitty moon pie um magnet. Or um keychain. Sorry. Keychain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think this was five bucks. I know it was right around five. I have no idea how much this was, but I seen it. Uh, my mom always liked this when she was little. She said blackjack gum. I found that for her as a surprise. I was thinking she liked clove gum, too, after I left, and I didn't get it. I don't know. But anyway, I got the blackjack gum. I got this mint. These were $5 each. This one was, I mean. $4.99. Um, this is the metal. I love this. This is for my sister, Moon Pie Magnet. It is very cute. I got myself this one. I They were three or four. I love you to the moon pie and back magnet. The real, they're thin. But I liked it. I had to get myself something. And then I don't know the word that um, I know it. But I can't think. Is this a... St this isn't a magnet. It's a sticker. I thought it was a magnet. It's that kawaii. Is it kawaii? I don't know the word. But if that's what it is, something like that word, that um, the little Japanese stickers with the foods look, you guys will know what I mean when you see it. Anyway, here's a moon pie one. And sometimes they have little faces on them. I thought that was a magnet the whole time. That was a sticker for her. Oh, well, she does journaling. She'll like it. And then I got myself this a moon pie bag. It's not very big. One-sided. Look out, Moon Pie brand, um, and I do know this was ten dollars. Yeah, insane, insane. And then it was a hundred over a hundred dollars in there. Between me and Jason, it was over a hundred dollars, I believe. Yeah, it was. He found this. Jason found this for little baby Jack. I don't even want to know the price of it. I didn't ask. <laughs> a little moon pie teddy bear with a little t-shirt on. So cute. 
He's very, very soft. I'm sure he's a little collector's item because I know how Nick is. Well, I'm putting that up because it's going to be worth $1,000 someday. <laughs> That's how he is. No, it's Baby Jack's kid. And then... Oh. I don't want to say what's who's for what. Well, Baby Jack because, he, of course, he doesn't know what's going on in the videos. Uh, this little sock monkey in the moon pie shirt. Oh my goodness, I love him. The little stocking cap on. <coughs> Excuse me. He's precious. Hi, guys. Hi, my charms. Like, share, and subscribe, please. This... Oh my god, I, they didn't have the ones I wanted I seen online. They were moon pies. Little moon pie Christmas ornaments. I like, think it was a set of three. Those were long sold out, she said. But they did have this one. This Christmas tree ornament. Can you guys see it's orange? That's what they had. So got that. And then, oh my goodness, the candles in there. I don't know how much they were. All I know is I've seen Jason going up at nine, and I'm like, you didn't get me nothing? And he's like, what do you mean? <laughs> because I could see stuffed animals in his hands, and I knew those won't work for me. And I'm like, well, there are some candles over there, and you know I love coconut. Oh, my God. If I could have got one of every candle. I can begin to tell you the scents and flavors or whatever you want. I'm, I love them amazing smelling and I'm I'm wrapping this for myself for Christmas I got the limited edition the moon pie and this was um I have no idea they were outrageous I don't care they smell delicious oh my gosh I just I wish everything smelled like this every day it is the moon pie coconut candle I've only smelled it once that day in the store when I walked by it I didn't know what it was Wow. I wish you guys could smell this. Mm. They had all different kinds. Red velvet, peanut butter, caramel, chocolate moon pie. Oh, you name it. The um, banana. Oh, I want a banana one. I think I've ever had a banana candle. I don't know if I've ever seen a banana candle. I love bananas, too. Okay, go on there. But, and then it is... The jar, which I want to use and use again, because it has in it, you know, um, whatever the word is, Moon Pie, their um, logo is all the way around on each side, so I will not be throwing this jar away. And they are soy candles, and they smell good. The lady promised me. But, my charms, that is it. Not a lot. For what you pay these days in this day and age, I still can't believe I thought the whole time this was a magnet. You guys, what is wrong with me? And I thought, oh, those ink pens were different. But, oh, I'm sorry. I got coconut moon pie all over me on my shirt and my hair. Wow, I'm a hot mess. But I'm going to... Oh, Nick stopped by last night just for a few minutes. Um, he knew I was wrapping gifts and he wants to be nosy. And um, got the tree in the living room because Ollie will be here Friday. He wants to do the decorating. Fine by me. Got a little step stool he can stand on. He can do however he wants. Don't care. But I wrapped some of the major gifts for the bolt for Ollie and Baby Jack, which I was going to show you guys. I'm just going to show you guys after they're opened. But I will tell you, we got I got Baby Jack this um, Fisher Price. It's called a little food truck. But you don't ride it. You op ride in it or anything. You open it up and it's the front of the food truck with the side with the window. And he will have all of his little supplies and everything in there. It comes with it. And that's like he's at a window playing. He's a food truck guy. Adorable because that's my dream to own a food truck or a restaurant. And that's what I went to the boys to learn too. Ollie always wants to play. He calls it customers with Gigi. And for some reason there always has to be something wrong with the food and a complaint. He's silly. But, um, oh, I gotta tell you something, too, about that. So we play customers all the time and pretend we have money. So I finally found the fake money, which I showed you guys in another 
oh, my last Dollar Tree haul video from down south. You guys need to go check that out. But this is, you have to build it. It's wooden. Well, I'm not. Jason and Nick are going to have to build it, of course. Grocery store with shelves, a conveyor belt, and a cash register. Oh, my goodness. And then I went to Big Lots, Marina, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict, and showed the little baskets with the food, and fake play food in them that she gotten for the kids at the shelters. I went to mine up the road. I found one. Of course, it wasn't 50% off still, but oh well. I got that because I can't find a little grocery cart for me anywhere anymore. They used to sell those. So he's going to be pretending he's a little grocery store guy. Little Jack's going to be running a food truck. Um, so have to get business and ideas set in their heads while they're young, guys. But, like I said, whenever we play customers, as Ollie calls it, he always has to be, something always has to be wrong. Either it's too hot, too spicy, or, oh my gosh, what's in my food? Well, on Halloween, when we took him to the parade in our hometown, um, Chris, or Christmas parade, Halloween parade, when me and Ollie dressed up and did our Halloween jamboree video, we, he wanted to, I wanted to give him a Happy Meal. So we go to get a Happy Meal, and right next to there is KFC. And Ollie's like, we're not going to FCK. I don't like them anymore. Well, first off, I'm like, FCK. But I said, why? He's like, because we get all the way home. Gigi, they didn't give me my macaroni and cheese. And you're going to believe this. They didn't give mom no sauce for her chicken. And I just laughed. And I was telling Nick that. And he's like, it's all true. That did happen. But, yeah, he got the letters mixed up and called it FCK. I thought that was cute. But, my charms, love you all. Um, I have a couple more videos to do, but not today. I want to get um, supper going and get in the oven so I can get to Ollie's Christmas program. And stay safe. And everybody, my mind just went blank. I'm so sorry. Gosh, what is wrong with me? I keep doing this. I love you all. I think it's my high blood pressure. But, um, because I keep switching my medications and I don't like it. But love you all. I hope you enjoyed this little haul. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Until next time, bye-bye, my charms.